Good evening. I'm Will Reigns. I work at the Y at the front desk. I also teach children with special needs to swim through the Y STARS program. I'm also a volunteer in the Saturday's Emotion program, which my parents started. I'm a college graduate and was a member of the Barry Dickinson University swim team in college. I was also diagnosed with autism before I was three years old. Throughout my life, the Y has been a source of great support for me and for my family. I hardly remember it, but I know that I did the parent-taught swim class with my father. After that, I joined the Somerset Hills YMCA swim team. I was not the best swimmer on the team, not even anywhere close. That might be my brother, Steven. <laughs> I also swam for Ridge High School, and I was not the best swimmer there either. That might be Steven also. <laughs> I always score points though, and I always tried my best. In college, I still wasn't the best swimmer, but I continued to improve. Now I hold two of the top ten times in FDU history in two different events. The Saturday's Emotion program was started 25 years ago. It was basically started for me. My father had been coaching soccer with my older brother, and there really wasn't any program anywhere for kids with autism. My father met with the wife, and they set up the Saturday's Emotion program. In 25 years, the only sessions I have missed are sessions that conflicted with a swim meet. <laughs> when I was little, I loved the Saturday Supposed Program because I was able to run around the gym, swim in the pool, and play with other kids. My older brother was always there, and when my younger brother came along, he was there as well. I don't know exactly when, but at some point I made the transformation from a kid enjoying the Saturday Supposed Program to a volunteer. Now I volunteer in the gym and I'm in charge of a piece of gymnastics equipment. The kids sit in the middle of a big foam donut and hold on tight while another volunteer and I roll the donut back and forth. <laughs> the kids spin upside down all the way around and love it. I'll see some kids come back many times during the one hour gym session. My role is to keep the kids safe and make sure everyone has fun. In the pool, I'm usually assigned a child to swim with and teach them to swim if they are ready. One of my favorite times at Saturday's Emotion is when my father or mother introduces me to a parent of a child who's just been diagnosed with autism. I like to think when they meet me and talk to me, it helps that parent see that their family can still be a happy family and that there's hope that child can live a fulfilling life. I'm going to let my war story take a little detour here. A few years ago, Martino Corretto, whose two sons had volunteered in the Saturdays in Motion program, was supposed to be part of a team that was going to swim across Tampa Bay, a distance of 24 miles. Martino couldn't do it at the last minute. The purpose of the swim was to raise money for mental health first aid trainings offered by the Y. Anyway, they needed a couple swimmers to complete the team to swim across Tampa Bay. It ended up that my older brother, Mike, and I were recruited on very short notice swim with Dr. Paul Keel and Doug Munch. Mike and I each ran more than our share of the 24 miles. <laughs> Completing that long 10 hour swim when neither Mike nor I had ever before swam open water is something I'm very proud of. And that's really part of my why story too. Now back to what I do now at the Y. I work at the front desk. 
I have a very good memory, so I have a good sense of everyone's name and can give them a personal welcome. I handle the computer and take care of all the other procedures. In the STARS program, I work in the pool with kids with disabilities. I'm hopeful I can be a role model for them. And by the way, for any employers out there, I'm always looking for a full-time or part-time job. <laughs> Just like everyone else who walks through the doors of the Y, the Y gave me a chance and the support to succeed. The Y helped write my story. The Y gave me access to opportunities that I would not have had otherwise. These experiences helped build my confidence. They helped teach me the real meaning of not giving up. My story is not done. In fact, it continues every day. Thank you.